All right, so this is a uh, 2006 Sprinter 3500 uh, dually 2.7 liter diesel. It's the uh, Mercedes Benz uh, drivetrain, and it's on a uh, 2007 Itasca Navion. And uh, a little over two years ago, uh, we were coming back home, and all of a sudden the check engine light came on, and we could not get this thing to go above an idle. And it kept reading an error code. And uh, I'd pull over the side of the road, turn the ignition off, and uh, it would just kind of reset. End up making it home. Thank goodness we were, you know, about 50 miles from home. But it took us over two hours to get home. You know, Western Washington, what are you going to do? The throttle position sensor is bad on this thing. And that's why it dropped down to an idle. Uh, let me show you what this thing looks like. So, here's the throttle right here. And that's uh, the throttle position sensor. Well, this is in one entire unit. And uh, you can buy it from Dodge, and it's over eight hundred dollars from Dodge. And you, but you can buy it buy it from Rock Auto, and it's less than four hundred dollars. And it's a really simple uh, replace. You just pull these Molex connectors out, and undo these uh, Torx type bolts, and uh, replace it. So I'm gonna pull this out right now. And uh, tomorrow, my uh, new throttle position sensor should be in. So anyways, I want to show you guys really quick uh, where the OBD port is. We're on the, uh, the driver's side right here. And the uh, OBD port is right there. And uh, I've got this code reader here that I scored from a garage sale. Plug it in. Zero two 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 two. Yep, right there. Pending. All right. So I don't want to erase these just yet. So I got two of those. This is not. Right. Typical Molex connector. Uh, this one was pretty easy to pop off. There's a press piece right here. Let me just pull it right out. This guy right here, though, I'm not sure how to get him out. Got a little wire there. I don't know. I'll pull that wire back and see what happens. All right, so this guy here is, is a little retainer clip right here. And that's what holds this uh, second Molex connector in place right onto there. And I have no idea how this thing failed. Oh, poor design. All right, I got uh, my new throttle accelerator so that way I can get rid of that not being able to go above an idle problem and uh, on the old one this is the piece that was bad but you can't buy just that piece you have to buy the whole thing so in preparation for this I disconnected the ground and that was something that my uh, mechanic had suggested uh, and my mechanic's pretty solid dude he uh, is a mobile auto repair Troy's mobile auto repair here on the Key Peninsula and uh, he told me exactly what I needed to do what I needed to get you know and uh, save myself some money so I'm gonna get started on this so I'm really looking forward 
to being able to go RV again. It's been over two years since we've been able to go part of that seal. Oh, well, this works. Let's see what happens here. That's not good. <laughs> that last little bit with the throttle position sensor didn't quite work out how I planned. You know, I disconnected the ground on the battery, put the new switch in, reconnected the ground on the battery, and then turned the key and nothing. Nada. No power whatsoever. But uh, Troy from uh, Troy's Mobile Auto Repair is going to come by this evening and uh, hopefully get it on the road. It's been a long time waiting. And uh, oh, another thing. <laughs> That didn't go so well as you know I replaced all the uh, all the faucets on the RV that were you know damaged from freezing and uh, my biggest fear uh, came to came to light the hot water heater um, has a crack in it or something and uh, it had water coming out from underneath the cabinet so that kind of sucks but you know we've been you know living with that for the last you know four years so you know it's not that big of a deal it's you know we still we'll still go camping but uh i can certainly see you know how being in a in a, uh, in a coach you know in a class c you know how it can be really uh stressful when you got something broke down i'm lucky i'm at home <laughs> if i was on the road i'd i'd lose my shit you know probably bust out a can of gasoline and light the damn thing on fire you know frustrating me so much but i couldn't imagine being on the road and having something like this happen that would uh that would really suck but uh in the meantime i'm going to do something to bring myself a little bit of joy uh this is one of the shelves from the pantry and yeah it's got a pretty nice curve to it you know all the moisture you know from having sat for so long bowed that out so I got a picked up a piece of uh, piece of pine, I believe, and I'm gonna make new shelves. So that'll bring me a little bit of joy. Moment of truth. <laughs> It seems how my day's been going. So, oh yeah, boom shakalaka. All right, a little update here on the uh, throttle position sensor. <laughs> yes, that's nice. So, had a problem with it uh, not starting. And turns out I had a really bad grounding problem here. I didn't see that, but uh, this channel here is pretty nasty. And what was happening is uh, water was coming down and uh, eroded out the inside of the ground here. So. Troy the mechanic came over like a ninja and put a new ground in for me. I don't know if you can see that. Because behind here it looks good on the outside, but inside of there it's all corroded. So that's what happens when you uh, neglect your RV. But we're gonna do a little little road test here today let's see how this thing works I'm just happy that it goes above an idle and that it starts wait wait I spoke way too soon uh, 
right. Well, while I was at work for the last 48 hours, uh, Troy the mechanic came over and got the RV going. I don't know what he did, but I gotta follow up with him and find out exactly what it was that he did different than what I did and uh, go from there. So I'm gonna go on a little test drive here. sensor is good to go so went got propane filled up and topped off the diesel and picked up a bag of hay for Thor what up ducks hi Thor hi Thor how are you doing, buddy? Hi. What's up, man? What's up? How you been? Hmm? Hmm? Got you some more hay. Yeah. Yeah, big guy. 